friends, I'm Molly on the Spoke Customer Experience team, and I'm so excited to welcome you to the Spoke Club and to our Getting Started with Spoke demo series. This training will cover our floor planner tool, which is Spoke's way to create two scale plans and layouts of your space. Let's start by creating a new floor plan from scratch. You can do this at any time by clicking File, New, and Floor Plan in the top left corner. From here, choose the size canvas you'd like to work on. Let's start with small. Now that we've created our canvas, it's time to draw our walls to scale. Open the Draw Walls tool and then start drawing by clicking and then moving your mouse in the direction you want the walls to go. Use the real measurements of your room to make sure you're getting an accurate representation of your space. Once your room is complete, click Exit Draw Mode or hit Escape on your keyboard. If you click anywhere inside the room, you'll see the Fill option come up. From here, you can add a background color or hard material like flooring to your plan. Use the Pattern Size option to increase or decrease the scale of your pattern. Now that we've created our walls and added our flooring, we can start adding what Spoke calls assets. Assets include everything from doors to chairs and lamps. Start with structural items like doors and windows. You can change the size of the item or rotate it directly on the object or by using the toolbar at the top. I prefer to use the rotate tool to easily turn things 90 degrees to put it on a perpendicular wall. Next, let's add some furniture. You can filter the options by category or simply search for the name of the piece you're looking for. When the asset is selected, you can use the edit toolbar to make sure it's perfect. The dimensions tool allows you to enter specific dimensions of the piece you're adding, measure your furniture, or look up the dimensions of the product online. You can also toggle off the labels to hide the measurements in your plan. The fill tool is a great way to add some color to the plan. I'll add a rough color of the sofa I want to put in my space. Use the flip tool to change the direction an object is facing, vertically or horizontally. Effects can be used to change the object's opacity, making it look lighter, and drop shadow will make your objects really pop on the plan. You can always undo a change by clicking the undo button or using command Z combo on your keyboard. One of my favorite things to do to give a floor plan life is to use a rug from our product list. Click into products on the left navigation bar and then search for the rug you want and add it to your plan. Click the three dots on the product and then click Erase Background. This will magically erase the background of the stock image. You can make the rug the correct size by updating the dimensions the same way we did for our other assets. I'll make this one 6 by 9. From here, you can also hide the labels on the rug if you want. You can then rotate the rug to fit your space and then use our layer tool in the edit bar to layer it under any other pieces in your space. Let's go through a couple more tools to help you get started. The ruler tool allows you to measure the distance between any two points in the plan. Use this to make sure your assets are correctly spaced. Similar to adding a product, you can add images to your plan using the inspo option and scroll through our available images or use the quick add button to upload your own images or products. Use the text tool to identify objects or label specific things like doorways. You can customize the text by choosing from our list of available fonts and using the size selector to change the size. You can also change the size directly on the text like you can with our other assets. The shapes tool does exactly what it says. Use this to create any shape that you'd like. Now that you've got the lay of the land, continue on with adding more assets and have some fun trying different options until your space is complete. Use the share button in the top right corner to share your work to socials or to download a JPEG or PDF of your design. Make sure to check out our Room Busy training next to see how to visualize your selections and bring your space to life.